Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. On the Lone Oak map. Um, we uh, just finished up not too long ago spraying a other field for a farmer. Field 24, and now I'm doing uh, another field for another farmer. Uh, I've been spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying. Unfortunately, I gotta help course play through this last little bit here. I gotta get them past the islands. Um, I'm sure there's some kind of setting in there, and I just haven't seen it or found it. That it helps course play get around this kind of stuff. I don't know for sure. I'll get him backed up as close as I can. Of course, buddy. Spray that field. Make me some extra money. I've been working this poor old tractor to death. I mean, I've literally been spraying <laughs> my fields and other people's fields. Um, yeah, we've just been spraying away. By the way, I did lease this forklift to load some... Uh, some of those fertilizer tanks onto um, this flatbed trailer that I bought. It's only eight thousand dollars, and uh, I th I bought them because I thought I could uh, reuse them. Seeing as how I have the uh, oh I can't the dynamic host system. Unfortunately, that's not how that works. You buy them. And then you can unload them and they disappear after that. So that's my understanding on how that works. So luckily I have that fertilizer tank that I purchased that gives me fertilizer when I need it. Until I can figure out a different solution to supply fertilizer for my, my operation here. Um, I don't know. I'll just stick with that for now. Um, we're trying to finish up this field. Because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plant soybeans in it. Because I want to run at least one other crop. And I think... I have just enough time to plant soybeans so I should probably make sure my planner is ready to go and I'll go ahead and hire this gentleman to finish our field it's a little bit tough looking over the back of this tractor to make sure that uh, you're lined up with the field Especially when you're turning. But, uh, speaking of tractors, I found another tractor. It's just like this one, except that it's newer. Well, it's not new, I mean, it's used. It's by Custom Modding. It's an 8970. And this thing is a beast. It's got three different tires that you can choose from Michelin, Teleborg, and uh, Firestone. But I'm probably going to... Oh, and they got Mita's. I'm going to probably run Michelin's because I like the thick duels with the weights. I think it gives a track character. But you can have um, just the green star, which I'm, I'll am i probably put on there. Probably put two small light bars on there with it. Or you can just go with a big light bar. However. And then, of course, the global positioning system that I use <clears throat> when I'm running the tractor myself. you got to buy that and install it into the tractor before you can use it. Uh, I'm still learning that system. When you first buy the tractor, it starts out with 480 horsepower, up to 500 horsepower. If you don't need that much horsepower, you go back down to 400 or 425. For some reason, if you change the engine settings, the 480 horsepower won't come back. So I don't know. And it's cheaper than the than the Steiger, because I was actually going to. 
uh, by this tractor. I mean, that was the plan. I still might. I don't know. I don't know yet. Because I could also use this as uh, tillage or plow or uh, plowing, planting. I just don't think that the old John Deere that I'm running. Uh, oh, you can put a three point on that. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Oh, you can have weights in the back too. That's cool. What did that say? Oh, hitch weight. Okay, okay. And of course, the global, yeah. And then this thing has up to 530 horsepower, but this is also the 50 year edition. I kind of like that. But then you start getting into money. If you have noticed, we went from 95,000 all the way up to freaking $535,000 or $235,000. Then there's a Steiger edition. Anyway, it comes with GPS as well. But I think this is the next tractor we're going to get. Just because the 8000, I don't know. It seems like it struggles, even though it has more horsepower than what's required to uh, actually pull it. Oh, look at that. Our case is done. We'll go ahead and... Uh, oh, darn it. We'll go ahead and... Uh, Stop driving. We'll collect our money on that. That was twenty-five thousand dollars just to spray that field. We could do field twenty-six for seventeen, or we could do field forty-nine for eighteen. I'm just trying to accumulate money while we. Uh, wait for our crops but I could probably go ahead and uh, speed up time to help that process along so that we can harvest our cotton this thing's gonna need some serious detail work done to it probably needs it's gonna need to be serviced that's gonna cost me some money right there too let's see field 49 is actually right by us So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and accept this contract and get course place set up for that as well. And uh, go ahead and unfold our sprayer. I think I've got enough in this tank to do this field. It's not as big just really long so we'll pull down here I guarantee you if I decide to get a different tractor to replace this tractor for spraying she ain't gonna be most, uh, worth much on trade-in that's for sure alright so if you haven't ever played with course play it's pretty simple you select the field that you're on, which is field 49. We'll do two headlands. We'll start the vehicle at its current location. Starting direction is automatic. And we're going to be going clockwise. So we'll need to change that to clockwise. We'll leave it on smooth. See how that does. Of course, it's already got the working, uh, working width at 36 meters. That's how wide that sprayer is with the arms out so we'll go ahead and we'll generate the course and then we'll back out of that and the driver is going to start at the next closest point which means he's probably going to pull over here let's see yep the starting point has shifted a little bit which is okay And then he's going to make his turn. We'll 
even back out. And uh, we'll let him do his thing. I'm gonna pull that pickup up that has the. Uh, how you come along here, sir? You're gonna turn right into that fence, aren't you? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, you'll just drive right over it. That's cool too. So realistic. Anyway, we'll take this off there because he's not running course play. <laughs> so I was driving this truck out to the field earlier, and I don't know if you can see it in the rearview mirror, but there's the hose for uh, unloading and loading this trailer. It actually, I actually forgot to take it off there when I was uh, unloading those pallets of fertilizer into it. So, it stayed on. I thought that was pretty cool. Because uh, sometimes it'll fall off if it gets caught in the, in the ground. But, uh... Yeah. It's quite entertaining. Horse play is very entertaining, too. Nothing against the mod, I really enjoy using it. But <laughs> boy, oh boy, does it... Maybe want to pull my hair out sometimes. Alright. Just checking over the sprayer. Make sure it doesn't need no grease or lube. The chains look like they're starting to rust. I don't know if you guys can see that as well as I can, but there's definitely some discoloration in the chains there. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Everything's good on the old 8000, or the 8410, I guess, is what I got in here. And, uh, we're gonna run soybeans, because that's the next best paying uh, crop. So, now that we have that all said and done. So hold up for uh, gonna unfold this. Hopefully it doesn't hit the fence over there. Hopefully I'm far enough away. Not gonna write a lie, I really like this uh, planner. Reminds me of some of the real planters I've seen on YouTube. So I need to make sure. How do you turn on? The. Uh, I guess all of it turns on at the same time. Alright. We'll start doing a little bit of planting here. I just want to make sure that I don't run into the fence while I'm planting, like that. I'm a little surprised at how fast I can go with this planter. Um, 11 miles an hour seems to be our top speed, which seems a little, little fast. I know I'm not getting all the edges of the field, but it, it's hard to do and look out the window at the same time without running into that fence. That fence is like a nightmare to me. Goodness gracious. You can tell I don't drive enough. Alright, let's throw cruise control on. Uh, we'll make probably one or two passes on the headland here. Look at that suspension on that trailer just rocked back and forth. That's awesome. I like that. Come up and around. Let's 
see if we can make this turn without catching anything. I think we'll be alright. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to leave that thumbs up button down below. It really helps my channel out, helps me get noticed. Uh, <clears throat> you can follow me on my Instagram account, or my Discord account. I will try to figure out how to leave the links down below in, in the descriptions for you guys. Still trying to figure all this stuff out. Trying to figure out how to get you know, the channel more seen. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, until next time, see y'all later.